Now, former Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad is making headlines today. At 95 years of age, he has launched a new party to contest the imminent snap polls. He has also spoken exclusively to Vion in an interview to me from Kuala Lumpur. Mahathir Mohamad spoke about everything from relations with India to China's atrocities on Uyghur Muslims to Imran Khan and Donald Trump's chances in the upcoming election. Here's an excerpt. There's a fugitive called Zakir Naik who lives in your country. Why doesn't the Malaysian government send him back to India? In 2017, you had said that Prime Minister Modi met you in Russia but did not ask for the extradition of Zakir Naik. India had con contested that claim and since then, India has sought the extradition of Zakir Naik. Why is he not being sent back? Yeah, the situation in India with regard to Muslim-Hindu relationship is not so good. There have been cases of uh, uh, people being being lynched. So we, he is, uh, I think, uh, not very welcome in India. So we thought that for the time being, he can stay here, but we would like to send him to some other country where he would be safe. Unfortunately, not many countries are willing to accept him. Of course, he's not welcome, and of course, he's not being welcomed by most countries because he has terror charges against him. Uh, you've, you've made some very sweeping statements. This is a man who's on the run. Uh, the government of India has asked for his extradition, and you're saying he's not welcome in India. Uh, the government is one thing. The people uh, have got different ideas. Uh, sometimes the people act uh, rather uh, roughly. Let me ask you this question one more time. If you were to be uh, the Prime Minister of Malaysia again, would you or would you not extradite Zakir Nayak? Well, we would like to send him to some country where we feel he would be safe. That takes some doing. But not to India? Well, not to India, because at this moment, uh, we feel that he would not be safe since you mentioned Pakistan, I'll come to Pakistan. It is said that you backed Pakistan, sir, against India, only to position yourself as a leader of the Islamic world. Is that right? It's not about being Islamic or it's, uh, the, the stand made by the Islamic world. When I find something that is wrong done by anybody, even the big powers, I have always felt free to voice my opinion. That's all. Have you voiced your opinion on the minorities in Pakistan? We felt that they, they need to look after because in Malaysia, as you know, we have a lot of minorities, but we treat them well and uh, they are citizens of this country. But uh, sometimes in other countries, the government may have one policy, but the people sometimes uh, do not uh, follow government policy. They express their views sometimes in violent ways. Imran Khan gave your Islamic summit a miss under Saudi Arabian pressure. Was that disappointing for you? Of course, it is very disappointing. What is the status of the parallel Islamic group that you created and what is its purpose? It's not a parallel Islamic group. It's, these are members of the a conference of uh, Islamic countries. But uh, we find that uh, if we have the whole group, it's uh, difficult to reach any agreement. So we thought that if we can have two or three uh, countries with like who are like-minded to discuss the problem faced by the Muslims in the world, I think that that will be more effective. At a later stage, perhaps other members might join. But uh, some of these like-minded countries uh, are not doing very much for the Muslims of China. Yes, and uh, China is a very powerful country. Uh, we don't go to war with China. We try to find other ways of uh, solving our uh, strained relations with China. So on the one hand, you, uh, you, you raise concerns about the Muslims in India, which has the second highest Muslim population in the world, uh, and you make sweeping statements. But on the other, you say that, that you will not stand up for the Muslims of China because China is a powerful country. Have I got this right? 
well, our relation with India and with China are not quite the same. So with India, we feel that uh, you are more liberal, more willing to accept criticisms. But with China, you know, they don't, they have a different system and different viewpoints. But are you going to follow the Chinese system or are you going to stand up for the Muslims of China? As you say, you're, you're trying to do something for the Muslim world. Well, there are ways of doing things. It's not always through confrontation or even through open uh, statements. Uh, we will do things in our way. Have you done something so far, sir? Uh, we try to uh, talk to the Chinese. And what is the response? Uh, well, so far it's not so good. Dr. Mahathir Mohamed, I'm, I'm going to thank you uh, for your time, sir, and uh, I hope you're successful in your next political uh, uh, mission. And I hope when we, when we talk next, you'll have a more unbiased view of India and India's leadership and India's society. It's not so bad. Well, uh, thank you very much. You asked very uh, interesting questions and, uh, of course, it's quite uh, difficult to answer uh, without hurting other people. Uh, feelings and all that but still I appreciate uh, the questions that you asked because it gave me a chance for me to uh, clarify certain of my uh, stand my beliefs and what I have been doing thank you